Yo, what up, what up? Welcome back. I'm your host, B. Ryder. my co-host, J. Bell. And this is Final, Final Thoughts. Today's topic is Cam Newton, a misogynist. Let's check it out. I grew up in a three-parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And uh, I knew what a woman was, not a bad bitch. Okay, what's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing yeah. this, I'm doing that. I, 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 I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade a woman, but just to, to, to go off the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm -hmm. Now, a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of, like, I'm a boss bitch, like, I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. You, yeah. don't, know, you don't know when to be quiet. You mm -hmm. don't know how to allow a man to lead. All right. Here we are. <laughs> Back at it again. Yeah, for one more go round. Uh, you know, we didn't tackle the, the the subject before, but we thought we'd revisit it again since it's Cam Newton. Since we expect things like this going viral, yeah. <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, yeah, and I'm trying to figure out why people are so shocked. That like, was my what? What? Immediate thought. Maybe it because like, it's Cam. Because he's famous guy, and famous guy, you famous he's, he's guy, famous guy, yeah. Pro football, <laughs> just yeah. yeah. That's why everybody went crazy about it because they just saw this, and of course they jump on whatever story, you know. It, it's really just like, what do you expect? Like, uh, I mean, you know, dude's a millionaire. Uh, he grew up a certain way, probably yeah. a Christian. Yeah, he is a Christian. Uh, he grew up in the church. Yeah. He saw his dad and his mom. They've been together for 30 plus years. Right. So being in that environment, you're going to leave it with some beliefs, some ideology. Yeah. And why are we surprised that a Christian man thinks this way? Yeah, in the traditional, yes. you know, mindset of what a man does, what a woman is supposed to do, all of that uh, is is not new. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this isn't breaking news. Anybody, everybody. Right. And now, in a desperate attempt to fill 24 hours of programming, here's some bullshit that happened somewhere today. I don't know if y'all knew, <laughs> and I'm not even sure why people are using the M word, misogynist. Yeah, for traditional gender roles like. It's gender roles. Yeah. That's what it. That's Basically, what it is. <laughs> that's literally what that is. <laughs> and I'm like, how is that even misogynistic? That's just a preference between two people of how they're gonna run. You know how the household is gonna be run. Yeah. It's gonna be the leader, and you know, and like most women say, they want a man that can lead and they'll follow. Mm -hmm. Women say this. Yeah. You know, so a man saying the same exact thing, you find somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah, they agree. Where's the misogyny in it? If she accepts, everybody's yeah. okay with it. Everybody's yeah. okay with their role, yeah. and that works for certain households. Yeah, yeah. Just because it doesn't work in your household doesn't mean that it's automatically misogynistic and chauvinist and all right. this and that. Is, and we just love labeling oh, yeah. people. It's, it's easy to label something. It's so easy to label it and dismiss it. But this is something that a lot of women prefer they prefer you know at least you know in a traditional sense they prefer a man who's going to be a leader yeah and some a man who uh can pay all of the bills yeah who can protect you yeah know? like these are all of the yeah. things that <laughs> that a lot of women are looking for in a man and it seems like the the issue only comes when that the woman is asked for something like their side is put to yeah. any kind of pressure it seems like like we're okay with telling men this is what makes you a man right like, if, if you don't pay the bills you're not a man 
If you're not protecting, providing, you're not a man. But if we say stuff like, well, if you don't know how to cook, you're not a woman. If you <laughs> you don't know how to, if you can't clean up, you're not a woman. You know, it becomes that dynamic where we get attacked for saying that, you know. But yeah. it's okay for you to want the opposite. Yeah, from the man. because a woman expect, and this is off traditional values. It's not necessarily ones that I hold or he holds, right, but. Right, right. We understand what it looks like. So women expect, even a lot of modern women expect a man to cut the grass, take out the trash, fix things around the house, Mm -hmm. get the car serviced. You see where I'm going with it? Yeah. Right. And Mm -hmm. that's what is is expected. It ain't even told to the man. (laughs) It's automatically, he's a man. Yeah. He's this going to, yeah, 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 this is what men do. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and it's, for whatever reason, wrong for uh, in, a, in a traditional uh, household for the man who's paying all the bills to want food cooked, mm. to want the house clean at all times. You know, like the, the, the thing with, that uh, Cam said that I was just like, I get it. He was like, he doesn't like that whole boss bitch mentality. And I brought this up in a a previous video. It's a a mindset. It's an attitude that they have. And I don't really like that either. And you know, this man's worth $75 million. He get to. (laughs) He can, you know. (laughs) He gets to choose. Yeah, he definitely gets to choose. He don't have to deal with that. And it's like, you know, a lot of women got that little, you know, Mm -hmm. mindset Mm -hmm. but can't cook. And what I took it as, they don't have good house management skills. They don't know how to run a house. Right. right. A lot of people took it and they just, it, it feels like people took it and they just made it into some form of misogyny. Yeah. You know, it was like they, they heard what they wanted to hear, but they didn't interpret it in the way that I felt that he meant it, you know, because this is, it this is a traditional man. This is the, the way that traditional men think. Absolutely. You know, I want someone who... I can provide for, but if I'm going to provide for you, you got to do something for me. Yeah. And that. these are the things that I want. Like what? Like what are we even talking about here? You know? Mm. Like this is what it is. And like, like you said, we're not even like proponents of gender roles. Like in that sense, I don't think it'll work entirely for me personally. But yeah, I can understand it. I can certainly understand of why it was necessary, especially, you know, decades, you know, hundreds of years before in the, in the past. Yeah, this was mm-hmm. kind of a necessary thing. So living in that, you know, in that era, gender roles made sense. It's just yeah. that now that where we have a little bit of a dividing line today, but does it, you know, can you still expect for people to want to be in a relationship that has gender roles? Certainly. So you shouldn't be surprised if a famous football player who grew up in a Christian household prefers gender roles. Right. And they started attacking like his background of having oh, yeah, kids yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah. that. And it's just like, oh my goodness. <laughs> why are y'all Slanders. why are y'all triggered by this? <laughs> like I just don't get it. I don't get it. Because immediately after he said what he said, he said, but men have to be men. Mm. Yeah. But we don't talk about I guess we're just not going to talk yeah. about that. Yeah. We only want to hear the part that triggers us. So crazy, and too. We, we, and, you know, and, it, <laughs> and I hate to keep on bringing this up, bro, but it's, it's women that's, that's, that's doing this, that's triggered by this. Mm. And t- tossing out the, the misogyny and all this, but, you know. It's, it's really the backlash she's getting from it is just ridiculous. It's so, yeah. so yeah. ridiculous. I have yet to see a woman come to his defense. Like, I've seen guys, a few guys on YouTube come out and pretty much be like, you know, I don't know what y'all are tripping about. This is kind right. of normal. But <laughs> I have yet to see a woman, like, anywhere, Facebook, yeah. anywhere, come out and say well this is the kind of man that i want or i'm willing to cook and clean 
as long as he provides. Because I know that y'all are out there. That's they the are. thing. Yeah. Y'all are out there. Y'all want a type of man like that, whether it's Cam Newton or not. But it's like I don't hear y'all. I don't see y'all. I don't see y'all like defending it or at least saying I can understand where he comes from. Because I don't, we don't even agree with Jenna Rose, but we can damn sure understand why he thinks that way. And it's okay for him to think that way. Yeah. Because again, this is not new. Like, do y'all have the same energy when, when Steve Harvey is talking about this stuff? He pretty much says the same thing. Yeah, the, a man is supposed to do yeah. this and a woman should be doing this. He might pander a little bit more. Yeah. You know, he's a little heavy handed with that pandering yeah, yeah, to women. Yeah. But, you know, Cam brought up the issues with men and the issues with women. Mm -hmm. And why can't we address both? Why is it that we're only, you know, addressing one portion of it? And a another thing that I've, I've noticed is that people are just triggered by buzzwords. Oh, yeah. Cam, Cam Newton wants women to shut up and cook. <laughs> now, look at the interview. Did he say that? He said knowing when to be quiet. Yeah. To me, that translates into knowing when to pick your battles. And that's shit that everybody needs to do. Yeah. Knowing when to push and knowing when to chill out. Mm. And let the leader lead because that's the traditional mindset. Right. It's so weird. Where are we going? <laughs> what so are we doing? What are we doing? It is so weird, dude. And <laughs> then you see people who kind of play both sides of the fence where it's like they will condemn what Cam Newton says and then clap and praise what Steve Harvey says and they're saying the same thing. <laughs> you Do you understand that? That Steve Harvey is saying the same thing that Cam Newton is saying. Yeah. Just not in the same way. That's all. Right. But you have women who are like, you know, oh, no, Cam Newton is a misogynist and this and that, but Steve Harvey is okay. You wonder why you have men who are out here with beliefs like, well, if I can't provide for my woman, then I don't want her. You know? Well, no <laughs> duh. No shit. <laughs> no duh. You got men you who think like this. Yeah. It's just, it's really just baffling. <laughs> Head blower. I don't understand it. Yeah, I, I don't either. I don't, I don't think we ever will. Mm. And the the conversation keeps happening, <laughs> and the level of attention that these conversations are getting is if dude make, created this concept that day. Like <laughs> <laughs> like Cam Newton created gender roles. You know. <laughs> like, yeah. I would be able to like, okay, well, you have a point there. Or if he actually said something misogynistic, I would be like, well, yeah, yeah I yeah, see yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. saying. I see why he's going yeah. viral. But nothing there, man. He went out of his way to to show respect. He was like, I don't be down on my queens or nothing like he said that. that. Right after that. Yeah, yeah, he's going out of his way to show his respect. He's talking about a specific type mm -hmm. of woman. He's not talking about all women because for whatever reason. In his conversation with them, they hurt all women. <laughs> and I hate that so much. It's a specific type. He's talking about the boss bitch, bad bitch type and their mentality. Yeah. Don't want that. Cool. Yeah. That's 75 million here. Yeah. <laughs> and you had people, but that was the crazy thing. Craziest thing I probably saw was I kept seeing people be like, okay, that's cool to want what you want, Cam, but what are you bringing to the table? Shut your s What? Oh my god. Is that a question? Are you serious? Dude was in the in the Super Bowl. He was in the Super Bowl. Insane. I'm like, <laughs> you, what, you're asking Cam Newton what he's bringing he to the table. He has a job <laughs> <laughs> that pays him millions of dollars a year. You get to travel what? every year to multiple cities across the, the nation. Why do you, what are we most, doing? It's the most asinine question. Y'all need to stop asking that because that's stupid. That's a dumb question. Cam, what are you bringing to the table? If we're talking about traditional roles and what the man does, what he's supposed to handle and take care of, that's done. I did it already. <laughs> it's done. It's, it's can Ready this man has millions yeah. of dollars. You no longer have to worry about money like ever again. Period. You know? So. I don't understand. That question is stupid to me. Now, if y'all want to talk about, like, 
well, what is he going to do to bring to being a good father or to being a loving husband, emotional support? That's fine. But you also have to ask that same question to whatever woman he's talking about, too. It's not yeah. like they get to escape being a mother and being emotional support yeah. as well. But if we're talking about just traditional roles, if you get with Cam Newton, like his side is covered. It's already done already. Yeah. So he does have to kind of worry about a woman who's going to handle her part because he doesn't know that until right. he gets with you. It's just, it's, it's weird. Man. But you got any final thoughts? Uh, my final thoughts is, can we stop? <laughs> like, we get, acknowledge that people have gender roles. They, they prefer that. Some people prefer a hybrid or a modern way. Do what's best for you. And, and and it's okay if other people feel that way. Like, you know, they have women that feel like the man should pay for all of the dates. And they got dudes that feel like they should too. Mm-hmm. They do. And it's okay for them to feel that way. It's like if you don't like that kind of form of dating, then don't date them. It's easy. That was easy. I really think it's easy. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. You know, so just like let's stop making big deals out of people who have gender, you know, traditional uh, family values. It's not nothing new. It's not going away. It's going to be here. And guess what? In a couple more weeks, another popular person is going to say something dealing with gender roles too, or they're going to respond <laughs> to what Cam Cam Newton said. And it's like, okay, that's yeah. fine. Now you know he he's a traditional guy. If you ever were to find this guy and hook up with him, you yeah. know what's expected. You know what to expect. Yeah. That's my final <laughs> thoughts. Uh, my final thoughts is basically you know, everything you said, man. It's just we blew this really out of proportion. Like the surprise in all of this <laughs> is most surprising to me. Yeah. Like, why is everyone so surprised that a traditional man thinks traditionally? Like. It's okay to have a preference. Right. That is okay. Right? But it's just weird that if it feels like it's okay for women to have a preference, but it's not okay for men to have one. It's okay for a woman to want, expect a man to pay for her meals. It's not okay for a man to expect his woman to cook. <laughs> It's okay for a woman to expect a man to pay all of the bills. It's not okay for a man to expect his woman to be barefoot in the house all day and not work. Because that's what a woman does. Like it's just the double standard is is really striking and nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to admit that yeah, there is a bit of a, du- a double standard there or it's okay to turn men into monoliths. Mm-hmm. And to assume that all men should behave this way. And to condemn men when they don't. But you got the flip side here. With Cam Newton expressing his preference. Yeah. And the wolves come out. That's that man's preference. I, I'd be the first one to tell you. I, I'm actually okay with boss bitches. I'm fine with that. He's not. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. And uh, in the words, uh, Aries Spears, one of the uh, one interview he told me that that made a lot of sense to me. And this is me. This is somebody who doesn't even agree with gender roles. He was basically like, uh, you know, I'm cool with women doing their thing and you know being bosses and handling their business. I even support you. But I'm not gonna bring home the bacon and fry it. Bars. And in a traditional sense. That makes sense to me. That's that's a fair trade. If you don't want that, then that's fine. But don't condemn somebody for wanting it. Right. That's all. <laughs> that was good. That was good. But Aries. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. You, you, he was dropping balls on that. But sure. That's our show, y'all. Thanks for checking us out. Your host, B-Writer, co-host. Jay Bell. And this is Ben. Final, Final thoughts. thoughts.